Welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Hello, Drassic. Hello, Zitson. Hysterical Heron. Alexa. Blue Brick Films, if you will. Lazaya. The whole gang is here. Of course, Lols is the first one through the gate, as is often the case. Lols is usually camping out in the uh, in the Twitch chat before it even starts, so it, it's dedication that I can appreciate. Pretty crazy stuff. Well, Five months, two months streak. Thanks so much, Lols. Uh, line. I mean, sorry, attributing attributing your sub to somebody else off to a great start. Thanks so much, man. Good to see you. Um, did that repeat for you guys? Was that double audio? It was double audio for me, for some reason. Thank you, Lion. Appreciate you, man. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have a look at something, because... It seems... I, I was listening quickly to one of the VODs so I can hear what my audio quality was like yesterday, and... I, I think the text-to-speech might be a little low. <laughs> yeah. Lol, Lols is locking everybody in. Um, Alright, let me just see real quick. Are you sure it's fine? I don't know if it's fine. Especially on subs. Nah, I'll, I'll have a look at it later. It doesn't matter that much, I guess. It was only low yesterday? Hmm... I think it's just on subs too, but it might also might also be on bits. Anyway, I just looked at my bank account before I saw my girlfriend to increase my happiness when I see her. I've been too engrossed in Arkham to focus on the bread. Body Snatcher, that's fine, dude. Arkham is clearly more important. You miss Arkham Origins multiplayer pulped? I never played an Arkham multiplayer, I don't think. The closest thing to, like, Arkham multiplayer I think I've played is, like, well, what it, what is the Arkham multiplayer? Is it like um, some people play as the guards, while some people play as uh, Bruce himself? Love the Conan O' Brain jump scare today. Conan has become a part of my life. Shit, don't bother. You can still play it locally. I'm not planning on playing it. I I was just wondering what it was. I don't believe you, Golden Boy. I have the attention of a thing with large attention 3v3 verse 2 so it but but you play as the guards right let me have a look at this hello fandom fanatic welcome uh yeah looks like it well, that's kind of interesting I was going to say, the closest thing that I've come to playing something like that is uh, Splinter Cell Blacklist? Was that it? Splinter Cell Blacklist. That had a cool multiplayer. That had a fucking awesome multiplayer. Anybody ever played Splinter Cell Blacklist multiplayer? You got like one team that plays as mercenaries, and then one team that plays as spies. The mercenaries are better with, like, with, uh, you know, just shooty stuff. Like, I think they're in first person. They have, like, in a gunfight, they're probably going to win. But the spies can, like, you know, do the gargoyle shit. They can, like, crawl across the rooftops and, and hide in dark corners. And they have night vision and stuff like that. It was really cool. I wonder if it's still active in any way. It feels like a game that would still have a small community if, if there was a server kept active or something. Oh, that's pretty cool, little bat. But, like, how would that really work? Like, obvious, they, they would there would have to be some sort of balancing thing where... Because everybody would just look at the gargoyles and everybody would just look at the vents every time. Favorite iteration of the Jonkler? I honestly really love the Arkham Jonkler. Particularly City. But, and, and Asylum, I suppose, but... He's... Yeah, he's kind of hard to beat, hey. Um... Who else? Yeah, he's good. Arkham Joker's very good. Arkham Joker has more, like, to him than Arkham... Arkham Bruce, you know? Anything Hamill is fantastic. Um... 
Oh, who's that other one that I really like as well? I think it's I think it's Hamill as well. Um, it might ju I might just be thinking of the animated series. It's just like he his voice is so synonymous with the character at this point. He's played it so many times as well. Yeah, the animated series and Arkham are probably my favorite ones. God, this music is uh, is great. This 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 playlist is honestly, I'm so glad we don't have to listen to Lo-Fi anymore. Yeah, Tom, we we got in a little late today. We got in a little uh, a little behind the times, but that's all right. I, I'm not in Kiwi land, so I have no idea, Tom. <clears throat> it's like mid-morning in Australia right now, though. So I, I'm guessing it wouldn't be too different for them. Let's have a look. No, it's like the middle of the afternoon for them. Never mind. Well, we're here now, Creeper. Thanks for joining in. John DiMaggio? How do you say his last name? I'm so awful with with names. Does he do a a Joker? Holy shit! Is that him? Jake the dog, you mean? Is that isn't that the guy? Or am I thinking of somebody else? Is that Red Hood Joker? I don't believe you. That That's actually a very, very good honorable mention. I really, really like that one as well. That's a great jonkler. That's wild. Bruce. What a talented dude. Hey, Panda, thanks so much, man. Thank you for the pr prime, the, the 19 months on a two-month streak. That goes insane. Thank you very much. Appreciate you very much. Yeah, that that's a great that's a great jonkler. I watched this video about the Joker as a character, and I think a lot of iterations make the mistake of victimizing him and over explaining his backstory. He's supposed to be chaos, you can't understand that, so when you try to explain it, it loses it in a sense. I actually yeah, I tend to agree. I'm not big into the like, let's peel back the Joker and find out who he really is. That's a lot less interesting to me most of the time. Like I also think that crazy for the sake of crazy is sort of in the same vein where it's like you have to have a little more to it than that but also trying to trying to dive too far into who he was and and stuff doesn't really do it for me either it's like I like I like getting as much of his backstory as like Jonkler in the context of the story wants to give so it has to sort of come from his mouth you know i always think that's more interesting i i like i'll go as far as like the the red hood stuff is is far enough to only know that much about his life is is good i think he's um He's overdone to death, though, at this point. I'm I'm kind of ready to not see him for a bit, and then we, like, because, like, Batman's rogue gallery is fucking huge, man. We don't, like, jo Joker has been done in fucking 300 iterations at this point. Let's, let's have the same thing happen to Killer Moth. Let's go. Get it done. Yeah, it's a great Batman movie. That was one of the first, like, Batman animated movies that I liked so much I bought at the time. It was just great. <clears throat> I like the Joker the best when he's treated like a natural disaster. Not the main villain or focus, but shows up anyway and shuffle things around. Yeah, he's kind of like a good wild card to throw in, I think. But, uh... We've seen, like, I love the character, but he's just in, in absolutely everything. Yeah, I agree with your line. I think he's, he's just sort of, he's almost on par of, of popularity with, with Batman, which is 
you know, when that happens, you're bound to see him everywhere, but... What if the Joker ran for mayor of Gotham? Isn't... There's something similar in something I haven't read. Uh, not mayor. What's the one where Joker is like, um... It's like an Elseworlds story. I think, like, Batman dies and Joker gets rehabilitated or something. He becomes, like, fucking... He just becomes, like, a regular dude. What? What is that? Is that White Knight? That might be White Knight. I don't think that's a spoiler either. That's literally just, like, the... That's the hook, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the White Knight. White Knight, he just becomes, like, a, a dude. I'm pretty sure. White Knight. Batman White Knight. Let me have a look. Actually, I don't want to get any spoilers, because I want to read it, but I think that's kind of the hook. I can understand why he's so popular, though. You really can't have a Batman without some version of Joker somewhere down the line. I do agree with that. It's just not every Batman story needs to contain the Joker. You know, not every Batman movie needs to be building towards the Joker, I feel like. Like, as far as I'm concerned, like, with the Batman mythos, even in a story where the Joker isn't present, you assume that the Joker is still a, a big element of, of Bruce's life as a vigilante, you know? Like, he's always out there. He may be temporarily locked up, or he may be off plotting something, but we don't need to see him every time. Oh, you didn't get a Twitch notification? It happens. It's been known to happen. Don't let Twitch get you like that. Revolt. This Twitch channel has basically become a Batman channel. I suppose, for now. For now. I mean, a big portion of, like, my audience in general is interested in, in that sort of thing. Comics in general. Probably more DC orientated than Marvel, but just, uh... You know, comic-y stuff in general. It's funny, the divide. It hasn't even really been a divide as as the way that I thought it would be, but with the Red Dead stuff and the DC-orientated stuff, I thought there would be a much bigger split, but I think, <laughs> like, both sides of both audiences have kind of dipped into each other just to see what all the fuss is about, I guess. It's pretty cool. Your Bruce and Robert series is what got me into Batman in the first place. That is insane. You so you can cite Bruce and Robert as uh as some early exposure to the to the universe. <laughs> that's pretty. That's, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Yeah, that's it, Panda. That's it. Oh, that's cool, Ludicrous. I've had a couple of people tell me that, so that's pretty cool. So strange that a channel like yours exists, considering the main two sides are so drastically different. Yeah, shit's gonna get really, really strange when I start doing more varied stuff as well. I, I feel like, um... I feel like the channel may split into three a little bit, in topic-wise, where... I, I can't see Red Dead and, and like... DC related stuff or, or just comic related stuff in general not being a part of it for like the foreseeable future but also I think there's also we're close to a time where I'm going to be doing a lot of miscellaneous stuff in there as well give us the phase three slate Jesus four TV shows and three movies I don't know about that let's not go MCU on them um but yeah, it's going to be interesting. If I can just, you know, complete what I need to complete, it will be happy days. Well, no, I mean, I'm enjoying the process as well. I just mean like, um, you know, eventually there will be more avenues for me to go down once I'm completed these, these two series that I'm desperately needing to complete this year. All right, here we go. We got we got an essay from Line. This is what we like to see. 
My dream Joker is someone who's naturally very intelligent, but uses it to break the Batman, make him break his code. The biggest joke to him is people's humanity, and he abuses that. Paired with delusion, like he genuinely believes him and Bruce are meant for each other. Design-wise, I'd like a Joker to not be overly skinny, having a bit of a hunched back, shorter hair. That looks somewhat kept and styled, but not properly. A more pinkish purple suit that's super expensive and pristine. You got like a you got a little bit of DNA from a bunch of jokers there, which is which is pretty cool. I think my uh I think I agree with you on the break the Batman thing. Like I, I like the idea of when a Joker doesn't start out like that, but then he realizes this like sort of how it's done in, in Origins. Like he realizes part way through. I guess maybe his plot starts out as like, let's kill the Batman, like he's enamored by that idea. And then when he tries to, but it doesn't work, he's expecting Batman to just like wipe him off the face of the planet. But when he doesn't, that's when the real obsession sets in. And he's like, oh my god, this guy actually won't kill me. This is kind of crazy. This is actual craginess. And, and then it sort of goes from there. That's always, I think Origins did that really well. He becomes very obsessed through that element. He goes craggy mode. <clears throat> Hell yeah! Wait, more fan fictions are definitely coming, Panda. That was a that was a fun video to make. I needed that video to get me out of a funk that I was that I was in at the time. It was just so different. And then you know what? It didn't even perform that badly either. Definitely not. It's a, surprisingly a video that hasn't had much legs as time has gone on. It hasn't, like... Usually when I release something, it will go up over time. But, um... Still, it didn't do too bad. And I think with less obscure characters like Marty Bird, that that sort of concept is, is worth chewing on a little bit more. You can keep your computer on to farm bread. Isaiah, I got 90k subs on YouTube and I still can't figure out how to use background music well. Any tips? That is that is an underrated part of making videos that's actually pretty damn difficult. It, that, that, I was literally thinking about that the other day. Um, well, congrats on 90k, dude, by the way. That's huge. Um, honestly, I have a little note that I've written for myself. And I think it, it it helps me a lot. Hopefully I'll be able to find it. It's a little note that I wrote myself on a, on a little sticky note. And it basically is my key to uh, choosing background music. Because I'll tell you what. If you use the wrong background music in the wrong part, you can derail something that's on its own pretty good. I don't know if I'll be able to find it though. Let me see. No, I can't remember, but it was something along it was something along the lines of this, right? So rather than just like the thing with background music is it needs to not only fit the uh, rhythm of of how you're speaking or what's going on in the video, but uh, it has to fit the uh, it has to fit the feeling most of all. So if you're when you're about to add some background music to something, you have to you have to fit those two puzzle pieces. Rhythm, so it has to fit the pace that you're talking, the pace that things are happening on screen, and it has to fit the feeling. So you don't want fucking sad violins while you're doing a, a compilation of you killing demons in Doom. You can do that, and it might actually be pretty funny. But as a general rule, <laughs> that's the, that's kind of not... Those are kind of juxtapos uh, juxtaposition a little, a little bit too much. But, uh, yeah, no, ry rhythm and, rhythm and feeling. So sort of ask yourself, like, what do you want the audience to feel at this particular moment? If you would like it to be, like, usually during, um, exposition and stuff, it might be something like, uh, if it's serious, if you're explaining something and you want the audience to, like, focus in, you need the music to be very minimal and sort of maybe just, like, uh, find something that's kind of bassy but just um a very simple melody or something Bruce 
I would need to sit here with an editing program open and maybe go through a video because I, I can go through, there's videos I made in the past where, where uh, I've used the wrong music and it's very, very obvious. Thanks so much, Matt Monas. Appreciate the sub, man. Thank you very much. Where do you find your music? I've looked in your descriptions and you have some pretty diverse tracks in there. So, usually I'll just look at it, the games I have on my shelf and I'll go, I'll go like, what game has a, I have a visual representation of like a bunch of games that have a great soundtrack and I'll, I'll sort through there and see if there's anything that fits what I'm thinking of, but, um, even if you haven't played a certain game before, if you can think of the vibe that that game gives off and then, like, just dig through its soundtrack and see if it fits what you're trying to do in a certain part of your video, you usually will find something pretty good. And I've, I've also, um... I've also found quite a lot of gems lately in the, uh... YouTube music library. It never used to be good, the copyright free library, but ever since they made it so that people can sort of upload the songs they want into the copyright free registry, there's a lot of good stuff. You can sort by, um, uh, you can sort by mood, you can sort by genre. It's, it's pretty, pretty robust these days, so you can find a lot of, a lot of stuff there. Um, but yeah, mostly video game music. Like, if you go... Something I use a lot as well is... Uh, what was I going to say? It was like... If, you, if, you're trying, if you're trying to fit the feeling in your video and you need something to fit that feeling, try and find a game that fits that feeling and see if the OST has something in there that's uh, relatively similar, you know? And you'll usually be pretty good. Anyway, hopefully that helps. <clears throat> and it helps if you've got like a, a large, you know, catalog of games that you've played and, and OSTs you can kind of, you know, remember for certain sounds and stuff. But congrats on 90k, that's pretty huge, man. You must be doing something correctly. But it is definitely difficult. It's more difficult than I think a lot of a lot of people realize. I, I remember starting out and and wondering a similar sort, a, a down a similar line of questioning of like, why does this not fit at all? Sometimes you think, oh, I want this part to be exciting, so I just need exciting music, but then it doesn't fit the rhythm of your voice, so everything just feels completely off. Um, yeah. The rhythm may be just as important as finding something that suits the mood of, of whatever part in the video you're up to. Anyway. God, I need to get better at explaining things succinctly. I've never been good at it. Ever. I can write something succinctly, but I can't explain it in a short way. Off the top of my head. Oh, that's interesting, Josh. I didn't know that. Thanks, Rogan. I've gotten a little bit better at it in the last six months, eight months, maybe. I put a little bit of a focus on it and watched some people who are very good at it. Um, I know that Dark Viper doesn't edit all of his videos anymore, but he's got some editors who really know how to do it. Really, really know how to do it. Um, I remember looking at a couple of his... Uh, a couple of his videos, which ones? I, I think it was some of the 100% award, awards videos and uh, a couple of the uh, new chaos effect every 100 meters or something. If you, if you take a listen at how the music comes in and out and transitions throughout those videos and also how uh, like the musical choices depending on the moment, it's very well done. It's kind of a little a little skill in and of itself. I don't understand how a video of yours can be edited by someone else. Takes away from the character of the video. Yeah, I don't know if I can ever do it. I would like to work with somebody on something, but I enjoy 
the editing process. I enjoy that polishing of the turd too much to give it away, you know? I don't know if I could ever do it. I like having all the raw materials collected and then, like, turning it into something else. That's the fun part for me. Writing and editing is, is the part. That's, that's the best bit. But when you're somebody, like, who's trying to release a video every day or every couple of days, you start to realize it, it's, you know, depending on the type of video, it's kind of impossible to do by yourself. You just can't really, uh, and, and especially long term, like, <laughs> you try and do that for multiple years, you, you're gonna be fucking dead. See you later, Jenna. I will literally do so many any game series with you. I, I'm i I'll work with an editor on something at some point. Like I'm thinking I may. There's the Patreon videos for TGB. They're the behind the scenes ones. I've thought for a while. Like I I'm behind on those by a great deal and it's because they still take some doing and because they don't appear on the main channel and they're kind of an extra little piece and it's more the information that that matters most in those videos it might be interesting to you know give somebody all the raw materials and then just put a behind the scenes thing together so that i can focus on the actual episodes coming out but uh i haven't really decided yet Whereabouts on the Ethernet cable? Hopefully it comes tomorrow. I knew that it wouldn't come next day because it never does. But, uh... We'll see. How long does it usually take to edit videos? It depends on the project. Like, I edited... I wrote, recorded all the footage, recorded uh, the script, and edited the video for... The, uh, What Crimes Can You Commit in Roads in, in about a week. Um, about seven days. But TGB, for example, that, uh, that, it's rare that takes less than three months. There's just so much. There's just so much. There's so much footage to go through. There's so much, uh, script to, to record. There's so much rewrites to be done. Is the Rhodes video doing better or worse than your expectations so far? It's doing like five times better. <laughs> it's like going going insano style. I thought the Rhodes video would, would max out at maybe like 60k people would watch it. Because it's kind of on a... Red Dead 2 is not a niche game by any means. But con content wise on the internet it's not as far reaching as like GTA for example. Um, it, yeah so... It's doing much better than I expected. You, you're dead, Line. You're dead. You're, you're in my sights, buddy. Um, Man, I've been low energy the last couple of days. I'm not going to lie to you. <clears throat> I think... um, I think we'll jump into the game now. But most of your audience probably knows you for Red Dead 2. You'd be you'd be surprised, actually. I think majority of the the audience is, is from Bruce and Robert. Just because it's come out more consistently. Um, I did a poll on this a while ago, which I know isn't the most reliable, but um yeah, I don't know. It's a somewhat even mix. I think, um... It's always weird to me, these these videos that... Like this Rhodes one, for example, most of uh, the viewership is from new viewers, which is always good. The TGB ones typically have mostly returning viewers when it comes out, I guess, because it's like, uh, you know, a long-running series. Um, but yeah... Sorry, my brain doesn't... It, I, I, some of that probably made sense. Nah, we're not starting Colg yet. Colg, Colg Hard will come out... Uh, well, we'll we'll stream that when I finish the side content for Origins. 
Thanks, Dom. I wrestle a little bit with the idea that, uh, <laughs> like, nobody gives a shit about the story element of it, so that's sweet of you to say, man. I'm from the first TGB episode, so it's weird that most people on the channel are for LEGO Batman, but I like the LEGO vids as well. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think, um, adding on to what I was saying before, like, I think with the channel, it may even be... Like, I think this focus on DC stuff in general and not just DC Lego stuff has sort of only started blossoming recently. It used, I, I used to look at the channel as like, okay, some people are here for like the Red Dead stuff and some people are here for the Lego stuff. But I think it's broadening a little bit. I don't think a TGB, TGB video has cracked a million yet. Uh, I think it has. Let me have a look. Yeah, yeah, the first episode's 1.1, and then after that it's 867k, and then um, episode 10 has 668, and then after that it's like 570, and it gradually goes down. The least viewed episode is the most recent, I think. No. Yes. Wait, let me see. Uh... Yes, I think so. Yeah, least viewed TGB episode is episode 11. And I've been trying to figure out exactly why that might be. You know, you, you can never really predict it. You can never really uh, pinpoint it exactly. You can only speculate as to why a certain video might do worse than, you know, like the previous one in a series or whatever. It can really come down to just it doesn't get recommended as much or, or whatever. There's like a bunch of variable variables. But I honestly think... I honestly think that if I was to, to uh, shoulder any of the blame on the actual episode itself, which I should do because there's no point in, in blaming an algorithm. I've never done that. I always just, uh, you know painfully assume that it was something that I did because that's the only thing that I can actually change you know so if I had to speculate it would be the silent beginning in TGB 11 and I think I think that the the episode doesn't really pick up like if, if this was your first episode to be watching and you had no prior investment the episode doesn't really pick up until halfway through and that's probably the problem and I'm I'm a I'm a little bit uh I'm a, I'm a little bit worried that uh TGB episode 12 is kind of the same because I have to pick up where 11 left off and then do some setting up. Story always starts as shit posting, then you start wanting standards. The story always was shit posty, but I always had a broader idea for TGB. I just the reason that I took such a long break before was that I didn't know exactly what to do with it. I had this, uh, from about episode two onwards, I was like, wait, I could do something kind of cool with this series. I just don't really know how to do it. I don't really know how to piece it together. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not fucking Shakespearean or anything, but, uh, it's something that hasn't been done with, like, Red Dead related stuff or... Or maybe even a little bit more broadly than that, like, um, challenge videos. I, I haven't seen anybody do what, what I want to do with TGB in, in the long run. But, you know, I don't like to talk about it because I just want to fucking do it already, but it just takes so long. Do you still know how to hit the woe? I've lost my abilities, dude. Oh, you're in the, you're in the minority there. With the V-Bucks jokes in TGB. I'm, I'm glad to see them go. <clears throat> Bruce. Hey, King Fu. Thanks a lot, man. Been a long time. Well, I've been quite late the last couple of streams, so... It's, it's me, not you. That's the problem. Thanks very much, man. 34 months is ridiculous. Appreciate you. <clears throat> you 
YouTube is run by bots and the algorithm is rigged. Original content gets you nowhere. It's all copy paste now. That's why a lot of YouTubers make the exact same content. I wouldn't go that far. I'm not that pessimistic. Pandasium. But an element of what you say is true. Like, there are certainly benefits to making a particular type of content at the moment. And uh, it just so happens that that type of content doesn't take very long to make. And uh, is able to, to be sort of mulched out of the machine a little bit. But that content probably still has its place. And uh, my view on things is that regardless of what the current trend is for getting the most content content out possible as quickly as possible regardless of there will always be a trend like that i still believe that people come to this website in search of something different something uh that has clearly had effort poured into it and i think people still prioritize that as a whole more is that a completely delusional idealist take? Maybe. Maybe. But uh, I'm holding on to that. I mean, you missed most of that because you got ads. <laughs> why is that? Why is that somewhat ironic? I don't know. The machine wins again. God damn it. The machine came out on top again. I was just basically saying, like, I, I still hold the, uh, the idea that people come to YouTube in hopes of, you know, find, or, or at least they're glad when they find something that's clearly had effort poured into it. I still think that's, that's, uh, more valued for the average person than, uh, than not, you know? Um, are we playing the game today? I don't know, man. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Probably. I've lost some of my vigor in the last week. I'm not going to lie to you. But uh, it's just a phase for me. I go through these phases, you know. We may game. We may game. <clears throat> Do you think you might know why my drink bottle smells like spinach? I'm not vegan, I swear. I think your drink bottle may be filled with bacteria and you need to dispose of it immediately. I don't, um... I don't use, like, non-disposable drink bottles anymore, and I know that makes me a killer of the earth, I understand that, but listen. No drink bottle I have ever had, no, like, drink bottle that you keep that I have ever had, has not eventually smelled like garbage and tasted like garbage because you can bleach that motherfucker every single day but you have a drink bottle for long enough and and the uh the bacteria will will end up there eventually it's just not worth it look us with the plastic water bottles that are throwing them away after a couple of use uses look we're not the ones killing the planet there's factories out there We'll blame them. Get a glass one? I s maybe you could get a glass one? Maybe. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like we're entitled to a plastic water bottle, okay? Maybe stop fucking dumping your uh, miscellaneous sludge in the water and we'll all be okay. I can have a plastic water bottle. You bastard. And, and actually, come to think of it, I can have a plastic fork as well, or, or a plastic straw, motherfucker. Jesus so Christ. Doing, Isaiah? I could take this if you want. I don't need PTSD right now, King Fu. But thank you for the 100 bits, dude. <laughs> don't, don't hit me with that. Yeah, I can have a plastic fork. McDonald's giving us paper straws. Let's take a... McDonald's with plastic straws, unbelievable. Like, let's take a walk down to the fucking main, main factory you, you, you're pumping that sludge into the burgers at. And we'll see, we'll see what damage the plastic straws are really doing. 
Who the fuck over the age of five uses a straw? You're telling me you just get, you get a Coke from McDonald's and you take the lid off and start sipping it? I don't know where that fucking cup has, what, what that cup has touched. At least the straw is wrapped in paper or something. It used to be wrapped in plastic, which is probably a lot more sanitary, but now it's in paper. Don't get me started. Oh, don't get me started. I had a fucking... I had a paper spoon someplace I went not long ago. We, we're even regressing from wood now. We can't even... We can't even have plywood fucking spoons anymore. What's going on here? It was literally like a paper spoon. It, I, I'm never going there again. I was so afraid paper straws would be shit when they came out, but they're not bad. They're bad, Clayman. It's okay. It's okay. You can say it. This is a safe space. You want to have a fucking thick shake and ch and and be drinking your thick shake and then go, oh, that part was a little weird. Look down at your straw and it's it's just disintegrating into your mouth. Awful stuff. Don't do it. Don't lie to yourself. It's okay. Coca-Cola made the most contradictory thing imaginable. They replaced glass bottles to decrease pollution imprint, but the plot twist is plastic deals more damage. <laughs> I love the deals more damage. Like the earth has a health bar that the, the corporations are slowly but surely knocking down like a fucking bloodborne boss. <laughs> oh god. Jesus. Thanks for the 100 bits, King Fu. Where the fuck did they give you a paper spoon, a mental asylum? It was literally like a- it was a cafe. It was- maybe like, it- it was thick paper, but it disintegrated the same sort of way that like a- a, uh, plastic, uh, no, like a paper straw would. Yeah, TTS broke, I don't know what happened there. It was- yeah, anyway. We are not ready for phase two of the Earth boss fight. I think we're starting to enter it. Honestly. Like, um, the weather here in Australia has got, like, it's always been a little strange in Australia, but it's just gotten, like, extremely strange in the last couple of years. <clears throat> What's next? Paper bowls? How the fuck am I? Hey, we're nearly there. Like, every, but that's, that's mostly okay. Like, a cardboard sort of bowl. You get them at, like, um... Ah, uh, you, you get them at, uh, a, a Porto's? Is that it? They're like cardboard bowls, aren't they? Sort of. I might be misremembering, actually. That might still be the last bastion of, of plastic cutlery that we have. Earth is a Dark Souls boss? It kind of is. Like, we're gonna keep fucking with it. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep poking the, uh, the bear. And it's just gonna implode. Maybe we deserve that. Actually, no. Look, you can separate the Earth's population in terms of how much uh, environmental damage they do by its two categories. It's all of us who are who are in, definitely entitled to having a plastic water bottle, and it's the massive companies that are pouring miscellaneous sludge into the ocean. Those are the two categories, okay? Regular humans, in in brackets, entitled to a plastic water bottle. Second category, big factory pouring miscellaneous sludge into the ocean. Two categories, it's really as simple as that. I don't care. Give me my fucking plastic straw. Um, it's over for you. It's done. We're coming to get you. <laughs> Where you better start you better start pumping out the plastic water bottles in those factories right now. Is this all is this all slightly hypocritical? Absolutely. Do you think we'll evolve to swim in green sludge like Lego Two-Face? Two probably. Probably. Was it... What, have people started getting born with gills yet? When's that gonna start happening? Did that happen? Has that started happening? Somebody on Reddit was doing an AMA 11 years ago and said they were born with undeveloped, unfunctional, uh, non-functional gills. Ask me anything. 
So that's... So, I mean, 11 years, that's... We've got a little bit of headway that we, we've made since then, surely. The way you say sludge is really nice. Well, they're pouring miscellaneous sludge into the ocean, alright? I gotta... I gotta make sure you remember. Something in the water is turning the humans into fish. Wait, uh, wait. I'm gonna do a test real quick. We haven't had an internet disconnection this entire stream, right? I'm going to... Uh, I have a theory, and it better not be true. I'm gonna open my... My files, right? I'm gonna open up my file explorer. No, listen, I want you to understand something. Because if I open my... My file explorer right now and it goes down we don't have an internet problem we have some ghost in the machine that's fucking with me i'm gonna open up file explorer in three two one stand i want you to understand i am not fucking with you this is very bad for me this is very bad for me i would not do that on purpose this is very bad for me this means there we go. This means that my problems are, are maybe not internet related, and I actually don't even know how to solve that. Like, that's very bad for me. I thought I had a problem that was within the realms of being solved. Like, I'll get this Ethernet cable and then we'll, we'll have no more problems. I don't even know, like, what, what's the extent of this issue? Does it only happen with File Explorer, or is it like every app? It can't be every app, because I open the game, and it doesn't... How bad is your PC? Did you download RAM or something? I never- I didn't download RAM. I'm- look, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm not a fucking baseball bat. Like, I didn't download RAM. My computer's virus-free, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe it has a Bitcoin miner on there from some fucking person who- in a country I can't pronounce, but as far as I know, it's clean as a whistle. So what the hell is doing that? Like, we can open the game. Thanks for the 100, by the way, King Fu. I'm going to put it towards a private investigator to figure this one out. So, I can open Arkham Origins or Arkham City or whatever, any video game, it won't do that. I can open Chrome browser and like, and I can open other tabs. I'm, I'm going to try File Explorer one more time. I want, I want to stress that this is not some sort of bit. I don't find this very funny. That is very strange. I'm going to open it up again and see what we get. This is like some medical condition or something. What it- there has to be a computer whiz in here who understands what the hell is going on right now. So, all I'm doing is opening... File Explorer. This is like finding out what happens if you manage to cough and sneeze at the same time. Like, what is happening? This is some real, like, rubbing your tummy and patting your head type fucking bullshit. I have to test, like, every application on my computer now. What if it's just File Explorer? What does this mean? Computer whiz here, your PC is fucked. I- I hope not. Thanks for the 100, Foo. I'm gonna look something up real quick. So, how much stuff do you have running? Like, nothing? I'll tell you what's on my task manager right now. So, like... So, all I have is Google Chrome, Streamlabs, and fucking sticky notes. And, like, obviously some, some background stuff, but, like, nothing that's really pushing the computer to its limits or anything. Like, um... My performance, I'm only using 36% of my CPU... And I'm only using 20% of my GPU. So, but you know what I think could be happening? 
what if when I open File Explorer, it spikes my CPU or something? That could cause the problem. All right. I will probably die after this. But I'm not, I'm, I'll be right back. I'm going to look at my task manager when, and see what happens when I open File Explorer. And I'm going to see if there's a spike in anything. I'll be right back. It, pressing File Explorer is basically like pulling the trigger to a fucking, to a gun that's pointed right at me. All right, here we go. Very small spike. I'm talking like, um, negligible spikage. Oh, wait, is that negligible? I don't know if that's negligible. That was like... Hang on. I wish I could read resource monitor more. I don't really know what any of... What any of it means. Um, but there was definitely a spike. Like, the, the, the line went up and then back down. What the fuck is this, man? Wait, CPU 9 went crazy for a second. What is CPU 9? Why is there 19 CPUs? I need to get more proficient with technology, I think. Surely somebody knows what this means. I didn't click the urology link. What the f- This is so strange. But I guess it's not that strange. Well, it's pretty strange. Dream disconnects every it could be that when you open file explorer it uses all your drives read slash write capability so it can't do anything else until it's finished reading your drives so could that just be because i have so much shit on there like so many files is that a possibility like that that can't be a thing right Dream disconnects every time I open File Explorer. Forget that. I think I've solved the problem. You have multiple art pieces downloaded featuring Robert. It's clearly the reason. Oh, wait! <laughs> no, wait. So, a bunch of people... A bunch of people seem to have not... Oh, thanks for the 100 bits, uh, Fu and, and Lion. Appreciate you guys. This is... Hang on a second. A bunch of people have a problem where they open their file explorer and their Wi-Fi drops. Let me read this real quick. I noticed that my network... I feel like I'm reading a creepypasta, to be completely honest with you. This is fucking scary. I noticed that my network usage drops for 5 to 10 seconds after opening the first tab in file explorer in Windows 10, but I am still connected to the Wi-Fi. Task manager and resource monitor showed nothing but a gap in network usage chart. Edit. Found out that clicking on my computer in Open File Explorer also causes the problem, even though it does nothing. Second edit. I'm reading fucking scientific logs in, in a horror game right now. This, this is going to end with, we're all dead. Um, I hope God lets me into heaven. Forgive me, Father. It's something like that. We're all dead here. The, sci the Neuralink exploded. Uh, second edit, RMB on... What is RMB? Right mouse button on any file also causes the problem. What the hell? All right. So I'm actually in File Explorer right now. Like I've already... I haven't closed it. Um, I'm going to open... My computer. And see if it does the same thing as this person was explaining. So what do I just need to open, like, this PC? I don't have a My Computer. Dude. Dude. I just got goosebumps. What is going on right now? I think I watched my internet drop out. So I've got the same... It's not my CPU at all. The spike was literally just like a natural spike of opening it a new a new uh, application. My Wi-Fi is dropping out when I do that, I think. What is going on? What is happening? So, oh man, I need a priest and I need a 
a, com a, a computer engineer. I know it's a strange combination, but something's funky with my with my computer. All right, I have to dig through the evidence here, through various different Reddit posts. Okay, hang on a second. This was four years ago. Somebody asked if there's any there's any updates on this guy's post, and he said, latest Windows update, network adapter driver, and I disabled turning off this device to save power. So the only sign is that the task manager shows that the internet is slowing down, or does your internet speed actually slow down? Pinging, pinging something. The internet literally disappears for a few seconds, and I can see this drop in resource manager in network tab when using Discord or downloading something. What the fuck is going on, dude? Somebody literally said, this is a first for Reddit. I don't understand how this is a problem. <laughs> the know-it-alls of Reddit are literally stumped. The know-it-alls of Reddit have no fucking idea what is going on. This is so strange, man. Somebody literally just said, I've done computer engineering, but I'm confused as hell because there is no reason why File Explorer should affect Wi-Fi. That's what I'm saying. Thanks for the hundred, foo. So, God, how many people are even here at this point? I, I'm sorry if you're here and the stream is like a broken mess. Um... Some, somebody literally said, well, ain't that something. Like, do you know how rare that is for Reddit? Somebody just said, well, ain't that something, and nothing else. Wait, somebody said, I have the same problem, and I figured out that it might be the wireless adapter itself that's the problem. Wait, so could the Ethernet cable actually fix this? Yeah, because I that's what I use, a little wireless adapter. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use a little, uh, a little shitty, um, I think it's like, what brand is it? I think it's like a little, it's just a little USB stick, like a little micro USB stick. I can't remember what brand it is. It's like, I don't think it's TP Link, It, but it's like that. It looks like this. I'll show you. This is what mine looks like. So this is kind of a similar thing to what I have plugged into my USB port. And it... it, it <laughs> Why are you laughing? Is this not standard? <laughs> no, look. That's not where my internet is coming from. That's what lets me connect to my router. That's what lets me connect to my router. Is, is this not normal? <laughs> that's normal, isn't it? That's not any better. What did I do wrong? No, it's this isn't providing me internet. It will most likely be that as that is a pile of shit. <laughs> that is look. You know what? I'll be completely honest with you. It's kind of in between this and this. Like it's kind of in between that general sizing. I don't know if that makes that any better or any worse. I'll tell you something, all right? I'll tell you something. I didn't know that wasn't standard practice. So what the fuck? Some of you must use Wi-Fi on your PC here. Some of you. Your motherboard can connect to your Wi-Fi? No, it cannot. I had to have this. I had to have uh, something to plug into my computer. Some of you must use Wi-Fi on your PC, right? So what do you plug into you, on, onto your computer to, to receive Wi-Fi signal? This... Forgive me, but I, this is like some fucking alien piece of technology. I'm talking like anybody who uses Wi-Fi on their PC, what, what, do, you, what, what do you use? A Wi-Fi card? That doesn't even sound real. 
That sounds like something that would have been written into a science fiction book in fucking 1975 before they even had the internet. Like, you, you need your connectivity card to access the mainframe. That type of thing. Mine came with a Wi-Fi adapter? You do realize anyone with a brain, if they wanted to get Wi-Fi on their PC, they would get a Wi-Fi capable motherboard, not a shit stick. I don't have a shit stick. I have a 2070 Super. It's not a, it's not the great, greatest thing in the world, but it's not a shit stick. It, it functions. I'm, I've got the Ethernet cable coming. It's not a shit stick, alright? It's like... On a scale of shit stick to like the greatest graphic card ever, it's like, a, it's... It's a, around mid-range, you know? There's no way a 2070 Super is a shit stick. I don't believe you. Given... I don't know much about much in this realm. But, the 2070's fine. So, okay. So what the fuck is an internet card? What is going on here? It's like a library card. What the hell is happening? Internet card. What is this? It looks like something out of a fucking... Looks like something you find in, a, in an alien ship. What is happening? You got one of these bad boys plugged into your PC? What is going on here? It looks like something you slide out of a fucking robot's head. Bruce. In a post-apocalyptic... ...robot movie. Uh, good morning. Hey, thanks, Lockie. Don't ask about anything that's happened in the last 20 minutes, by the way. I'm just researching new internet cards. For my personal computer thanks for the uh for the sub by the way man um okay so usually it's built into the motherboard but it goes inside the case yeah mine is definitely uh my little internet dongle is definitely an external appendage to the pc i'm not gonna lie to you it is installed in the PC when you make it not stuck into a USB port like your shit stick. Oh, that's the shit stick. Oh, yeah, well, there, yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. That's certainly a shit stick. Um, all right. So, thanks for the 100, King Fu. So, we've gotten a little closer to solving the problem. So, really, let's, let's look at this from an objective point of view. The reason... The reason that you guys couldn't really diagnose my problem. The reason you guys couldn't really diagnose my problem is because you didn't know I was using a fucking USB They're stick. They're called Wi-Fi cards too, not internet cards. Thanks, Vitaro. They're, they're internet cards. They're internet cards. It's hey, listen, let's not get n nasty, all right? I've... Internet cards are different again? All right. So the, the Ethernet cable is coming, any, in any case, all right? We didn't know about the shit stick that would have been nice to know beforehand. Are you guys getting double audio, by the way, when, when that TTS comes through? That's another problem I need to solve. <clears throat> Are you not? All right, never mind. I can deal with it. Thanks for the hundred, Foo. We didn't know about the shit stick. That would have been nice to know beforehand. Listen, listen. I thought everybody who used Wi-Fi on their PC used a shit stick. That's what I thought was the norm. I, you have to understand, I've never seen this before. I don't know what this is. 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 Okay? So, that's my point of view that I'm attacking this problem from. I literally thought everybody had one of these bad boys. The real tech. I thought everybody had one of these champions. 
one of these marvels of technology. You know, it wasn't long ago we were banging sticks together trying to spark a flame, and now we have these. We have these fucking marvels. So I thought everybody was using up this. You know, the, 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 the TP link. Um, it made sense to me, you know? It's flashing blue as we speak. It's really trying its heart out. But, you want to know something? This doesn't really... I, there's still an air of disquiet for me on this topic because, I'll, and I'll tell you, why, even with a shit stick, why would opening File Explorer make that shit stick not work for a second or for a, for a minute? Bruce. Because it's a drive. Because it plugs into the USB port. I understand how bad that sounds now. You have no idea. You have no idea the confusion. And then all of a sudden the light bulb just turned on and illuminated the, in the dark. Holy hell. That is crazy. Oh man. It all makes sense now. It all makes terrible sense. Crosscut dig. You googled wasn't a Wi-Fi card, it was a network card. Thanks very much for the prime, dude. I'm not really sure if I deserve it. But we have hit a revelation here. I feel like I just discovered the apple of Eden. I, I can literally transcend time and space now with that information. I feel like somebody's literally going to, like... They're going to have to kill me for possessing this information. Okay, well, look, we made so much progress today. I think that's a beautiful thing. I think that's a beautiful thing. Same thing, really. You know, jam it into the slot and it's bound to work some way. Well, listen. I think we learned a lot here, and I think that that's valuable. Um... I can't believe, I can't, that's a drive. That, that's, that's getting Once red again, every, every time. every technical problem on your streams is caused by your PC shit drivers. Hey, it's nothing to do with my drivers. I mean, like, I've updated those. Man, I feel like we just hit, like, the final episode in a, in a season of something. You know? And I feel like the next season, like, we're going to carry this information with us. And, and things that, you know, that's where the next story will begin. We've made a revelation. Life will never be the same. <laughs> that's so, that's so bad. Oh, it won't even read out Alexa's message. It won't even do that. It wouldn't dare. How the fuck has the internet been an integral part of your job Not for your five years and you still thought a crusty stick. internet stick was standard? I don't know, man. Because, like, how can I explain this? I don't think I can. I think I'm shit out of luck. I think I'm... I think I can't defend myself on this one, to be completely honest with you. I, I just think it's over for me. I'm having a, a kind of epiphany. Like, I've really walked, I've walked, I've walked through the last 23 years, you know, thinking I'm a relatively knowledgeable person. Like I have my blind spots as does every human on this planet, but I'm pretty well rounded, I think. And the whole time, the whole time, I thought, you want Wi-Fi on your PC. You want, you want Wi-Fi on, on your personal computer. You got to whip one of these out. And you got to plug it into the USB port. And then that's where the magic happens. And... That weighs heavy on a person to have that realization. That weighs real heavy. And I, and I, another thing, 
Look, I'll take this one on the chin. All right, I'll, I, I deserve this because one of I I have just had one of my blind spots exposed in front of at least fifty people. I'm not sure how many people are here right now, but you know, I had I had one of my blind spots exposed in in front of a, a sizable group of people. You may hit a blind spot throughout your life and you might have a similar realization about something you thought you knew for your entire life it may not be as pathetic as this one but it, you will experience it and i i hope you're i hope you're alone i really hope you're alone when you experience it okay so i want you to think about that one day you're gonna say a word incorrectly in front of a group of people that you thought was you thought it was said differently for your entire life and it's uh and, and they're going to expose you. you you're going to hit one of your blind spots it's going to happen don't worry about it peach crane we just uh, we just discovered how technologically uh far ahead of the curve that i am i'm sorry but i yeah, the the, the 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 duality of man here. You are the gift that keeps on giving, and I'm sorry, but I need my sub back after that. <laughs> oh, that's so good, my. Oh man, holy hell! God damn, what a time! You know, I'm glad we experienced that together. I already did. I pronounced Henry. Cav Henry wrong once years ago and my mates still won't let go of it. It's Henry Cavill, right? Nobody's walking around say saying Henry Cavill. Oh, God. Let's have a look. Henry, it's Henry Cavill. You, all, you also said Ethernet wrong. Well, that's more of like, I know it's technically Ethernet, but everybody around here says Ethernet. You know, everybody with a brain, anyway. This is another thing, okay? Actually, I'll, this is a completely separate topic, but... I... I I was with a, a group of friends not too long ago, and I was meeting somebody new that they knew. And I was talking, and I said... I said, me and this person, right? I said, me and fucking John went to the shops the other day. And he stopped me mid-sentence, and he said... Don't you mean John and I? And I had to like, I had to really restrain myself for a second because that's the type like that warrants strangulation Isaiah in the middle of the street. Do you I have think. Any more shit sticks stuck into random USB ports on your PC? Look, King Fu, everything's going to be solved very, very shortly. Okay, don't panic. I think that warrants strangulation, but the law disagrees. So, I had to restrain myself. But it's like. Are we really- is, are there really actual real human beings walking around saying John and I? John and I? If you're below the age of 75, y you better be saying me and John. Otherwise, you're- you are not real. I don't think. Th there's got it like, we're- we're in agreement about that. Like, I know, I know, grammatically, it is correct to say John and I. But it's like... Rogan's with me. Rogan's with me. That English rule is stupid, thank you very much. Because I'm not trying to sound like a member of the royal family every time I say, Oh yeah, me and John went and got a fucking uh, a large burger meal with a Coke Zero from McDonald. Isaiah, you use a random stick to get Wi-Fi on your PC. You have no right to call people out. King Fu, I'm telling you, there's a blind spot you have right now, and one day you're going to hit it. It's going to be like you'll be mining for gold, but you'll hit a water main, and it's all over. It's all over. It, you never know when it might strike you, but it's going to happen. I'll thank you for the 100 bits, as always, but listen. It's going to happen. I'm with you on this. Fuck perfect English. Exactly. Yeah, no, it, they, they, that's, it is proper English. It is, it is proper English, but like, I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of an analogy here. I, 
it's not common to me, but there's plenty of them. Nobody, no real human beings actually saying that. Okay. Well, listen. The Ethernet cable is on its way, apparently. The, the place that I ordered it from is literally, you know, 15 minutes away. I don't understand why it takes three days to get here, but... I digress. Just been diagnosed as not real. I am a medical professional as well as a computer engineer, so... Hate to break it to you. Just go get it. See, understand this. I bought it under the assumption it was coming the next day. On the day that I bought it, I had things to do that would get in the... Uh, going to the shop would get in the way of the things that I had to do that day. So I thought, it's okay, it'll come the next day. So I, so I spent $38 on the cable. Is it actually an Ethernet cable, not a shit stick? It's an Ethernet cable, yes. When it doesn't come the next day, I go, well, now I technically have the time to go to the shops to go and grab it, but I just spent $38 ensuring that it would be delivered to my house. So, that's the predicament I'm in. The fact that I could go and get one now is not lost on me. That's my situation. $38 for an Ethernet cable? No, so it was, it was, um... It was $28, because it's like a 15 or 20 meter long one. And, uh... It was $10 for delivery. Because, uh... I don't know. They want to squeeze every dollar they can out of you. Yeah, it's an Ethernet cable. Don't worry about it. It's one of these bad boys. I'll show you. It, it, it looks like this. So, uh, just so I can show you that I'm not brain dead, the, um, Ethernet cable that I bought looks like this. So, um, hopefully that arrives in the next, uh, day or two. So that we can really... <laughs> Yeah, you beat me. You beat me. I'm sorry. Oh, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I couldn't carry that one. I oh, oh, I couldn't carry it. I couldn't carry it. I thought I could. I should have muted myself. I couldn't carry it. Oh man, you got me. You beat me. All right. On that note, I think it's about time we get out of here. Oh, I almost had it. I was keeping it together, but I couldn't do it. Thank God I don't have a camera. Ah, oh, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's Arkham gameplay. It was very enlightening, I know. But hey, we, we sorted out a real fucking problem here. We sorted out a real issue. Like, let okay, here's the, here's, here's the debrief. I wasn't sure why the internet was disconnecting every single time I opened File Explorer. And it turns out it's because the USB stick that I thought was standard to connect a PC to Wi-Fi is indeed not standard and actually counts as a drive. So every time I open up File Explorer, it crashes my Wi-Fi because the fucking internet USB stick has to reset itself because it's being read as a drive. Are we all on the same page? Thanks, Drassic. Somebody's normal. Are we all on this? No, Lockie, you don't listen. You won't he listen. I. You don't need to hear this, okay? Just plug your ears. Maintain your innocence, okay? Stay pure. All right. Well, this one's dedicated to all my donglers out there. All my uh, external dongle appendage PC users. We do exist. Um, and we need to be represented. I think I'm going to end on that note. Okay, so if you use an external appendage for your PC's Wi-Fi, I, uh... I want my donglers to stay safe out there. Beware, because your, uh, your blind spot's coming, by the way. Everybody in here. Your blind spot is coming. And one day you will hit it. It's going to happen. Alright, everybody. Keep on dongling. Have a good one.
Thanks for dropping in. When this Ethernet cable arrives, uh, the stream and I will be able to have a much more stable experience, I think. All right, everybody. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Keep on dongling. Peace.